Hey, hey, happy Monday. Um, okay, for those of you that are, first of all, first and foremost, if you are watching this on YouTube, awesome sauce, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to catch all my content. And don't forget that little bell uh, so you get notified when I go live because that's probably the best way to know when I'm online going live. Um, Facebook kind of sucks at it. Anyway, other than that, if you have seen my stories from today, not talking about that right now, but I will be in just a little bit. So be on the watch for that. Um, I'll continue the story in my stories. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to jump out here in here, wherever here, in this little corner of the internet to talk about how do we choose supplements? How the heck do you know which supplements to choose? Um, you know, oh, also, my dogs are going to be extra squeaky and naughty this time. Um, there's crazy stuff going on. If you want to know about it, you're going to have to check my stories. Um, and I'm sure there'll be more blog in the future, too. So just be watching for that. And ignore the squeaking, because we do have a very anxious squeaky dog. Um, it won't go away completely. I can guarantee that. So how the heck do we know which supplements we should be using? How do we choose supplements for ourselves? How do we choose supplements for our animals? Here's the thing. I don't know how many other horse owners have been there, dog owners. Um, <laughs> my life with my um, pit bull, Artie, <laughs> he's been a supplement hog. Not his fault. He had some stuff that we've been going through, so he's been on a lot of supplements, and he's getting better. There, I mean, it was serious health issues, and thank goodness for these supplements, okay? But the thing is, the catch is, supplements are expensive and to first of all try something and hope that it works not know that it's going to work or hope that it's the best thing for yourself or for your horse or for your dog doesn't matter supplements are supplements and knowing which ones to use because they're best for your individual body is really important especially when we look at this from the money spending standpoint, because they're not cheap, especially when you're buying for horses, they're either going to be like, I know a lot of people do smart packs, which is great, but then you're paying a little extra for convenience. Um, and then otherwise, a lot of times you've got to buy in quantity, right? Like a five gallon bucket or a two gallon bucket of the supplement. And if your horse won't eat it, you're just screwed. And if you don't see any results, Again, you're just out the money. So it's kind of been a big deal for me to try and figure out a way to know what supplements, what supplements do I need? Um, there's been a few things that I do. One, if you are in Young Living, and I know that there's a few other companies that do this too, like that, that use this, there are some technology options, okay? Um, one of which is an iTobi scanner, uh, obviously, someone I know. Uh, but it's only for stuff, like, because it's my account, it's only for stuff from Young Living. Um, so if Young Living doesn't make it, it's not going to come up as something that you need or tell you that it's the best option. Now, but they are really cool because they actually, it's a personal body scan. So it's not just willy-nilly, this is what somebody says they think you should maybe try. Um, so that's kind of cool. The other option is... Um, I know that there's, I actually have seen a nutritionist in the past who gave me supplements. Um, and I'm not going to say it was a willy nilly shot in the dark, but I am going to say that just meeting with her was uber expensive, uber expensive. And I had to go back to see her every two weeks and every two weeks I would have to pay her for, a, for a, her time, which is, makes sense. Okay. But I'm just saying this was very costly and I had to buy all my supplements from her and blah. So that wasn't really an answer for me. That's not something I'm going to be able to maintain. Um, now with Artie, we do MFT and I always mess up what this is. Um, I'm going to pass it. It's MFT with a wonderful woman right up the street and she works with several supplement companies. So she has a very wide variety of um, options. And Artie is my pit bull, by the way, if you missed that. Um, and it's also very individualized to him. We don't go back as often. We do buy the supplements from her, but that's just easy. Okay. But here's the thing about 
um, our wonderful person from down the street, her name is Colleen, and I, I am probably going to see if she'll come in and talk to y'all one day with me. Um, but with her, she knows exactly what her client needs because she uses this awesome thing called muscle testing. Okay. So uh, I think I've talked about this before. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't, but muscle testing is pretty much the bomb.com. Um, because it is a way to communicate with your subconscious mind. I know it's weird. Stick with me. Your subconscious mind is like a supercomputer. It tracks everything that has ever happened to you ever. It knows everything that's going on in your body and it, it knows exactly what your body needs. Your subconscious mind is amazing in the way that it tracks that it knows what you're deficient in. It knows what you have excess of. It knows, um, you know, the foods that you have all the time, it's super familiar with it. And if you have an allergy to that, your subconscious mind knows that, right? It makes sense because your subconscious mind is what runs your body. It keeps all those important body systems that your conscious mind doesn't worry about working. Okay. So we use muscle testing to determine the function of a muscle, not the strength of it, but the function. So there are some things that we can do that increase the function of our body, which would increase the function of a muscle, correct? Yes. So um, simply holding on to something, example, I know I need these, okay? I know I need these. Um, this is uh, an electrolyte. It's a drink, flavor enhancer, no sugar, totally. It's electrolytes. And electrolytes are important because our bodies are electric. Um, so by holding this, I can increase my body's uh, response to a muscle function test, a muscle test, okay? So um, there's lots of different ways to do it, but either way, holding this, I can test it for myself. Do I need this? And I do a test just like this with my fingers. Um, this makes me stronger, okay? Now, when I am weaker, let me just give you an example. I'm gonna say no, 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 and they come apart now, yes. Yes. Oh, that's not good. Yes. Yes. There we go. And you want to know the secret why I had a problem? Because I need electrolytes. And this testing relies on electromagnetic field. And if we need electrolytes, our electromagnetic field is obviously not in its best state. Um, there's not as much connect or conductivity. Therefore, when I touch this, when I hold this, this it, it's me testing that I need it, basically, is what happens. I, and all of a sudden, I have better muscle function when I've got this in my hand. So I need to be drinking a lot of this. So I can test for myself, for my family, for my pets, and I do. And I do. And here's the cool thing. This does take some time to learn. Um, but I actually put together this awesome little guide. That'll walk you through it step by step. I've already mentioned it um, in the description of the video. You can check that out. You can grab it. I made it for free. I just thought other people would want to know how to muscle test. And so um, there's a couple videos even linked in this PDF guide um, that will walk you through step by step how to do it. And the other cool thing is that I also have um, in my Facebook group, heart-centered and intentional horsewomen. There's a great little mini course in there that walks through this in more detail because my short little live is not going to do it justice. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what I'm here to talk to you about tonight, because I think that the biggest thing that I've done recently, um, to really save money on the supplements that we're giving to all of the animals, <laughs> um, and ourselves, is really use muscle testing is to really get in on that because sometimes we think we're doing something really good too. We think we're, we're providing something that our animals need. We think that our money is well spent, but if we just use some simple muscle testing, we determine that that's not even going to work. Um, that happens with Artie on a regular basis when we go to, uh, kind of do a check-in and check on the supplements he's using something that he used for two weeks. Actually, he used a lot of stuff for two weeks and then we went back to see Colleen and uh, she did like a, a checkup on him and most, he only kept on one of those supplements. So two weeks was all it took for those and now he's on a whole new set. Um, so it's important to really use this for that too because you might be overdosing on some of these things and not switching it what they actually need now to be beneficial, which means that you're not going to see the results that you need and nobody wants that. 
So feel free. I will, I'll, I'll put a link to my group in the comments, in the descriptions, wherever we are. Um, and other than that, I just want to say that, yes, um, when you subscribe for that guide, I do send out weekly emails. Um, just a little blib it about what I'm talking about. So if that's something you're interested in, awesome. If it's not, like, guys, get the guide anyways and just unsubscribe from the emails. No harm, no foul. I totally get it. I get a ton of emails. And if you're not interested in keeping caught up on all the things I'm doing, but you just want that guide, no hard feelings. Grab the guide, unsubscribe from the emails, totally fine. Um, yeah, I just want to help people that want my help. So if you don't want the emails, don't get them. Uh, if you do want the emails, awesome. They'll be coming to you. I usually do them on Tuesdays. So there's that. All right. Anyways, that's it. I'm out. Um, that was my little spiel. Um, who doesn't want to know what supplements they need and what the supplements are actually wasting money on? I was happy to know that I could stop buying so many. So anyways, that's it. Have a fabulous Monday night and I will talk to you later. Maybe. <laughs>